Hey, everybody. Just hook this up. And let's see if you guys can see me and hear pretty good. Yeah. How you doing this evening, everybody? Because... I don't get any sound. I don't, if I have my sound on, it'll be an echo. And I don't want the echo. So I have to rely on you guys to tell me if the uh, sound is okay. So I'm going to prepare myself to look at the video. But I can't hear it. I can only hear my voice. So if the sound is okay, just please let me know. Okay. Here we go. So I want to say thank you for being the first one in the house. See, Thomas, Thank you so much. Jean Dudley, Ty Lilly, Vanessa Buckner, A. Fisher Frontier Farms, Deb M., Chine Moss, Karen White. You're driving, but you don't want to miss the live. Keep your eyes on the road. We certainly appreciate you being here. I'm blowing you a kiss. And then we have Lolita Edwards, uh, Tia making sure I'm not repeating the names, Karen Witherspoon, Barb Brownlee. I think I spoke to Jean Dudley. Bougie Prepper is in the house. Miss Ellen is in the house. We thank you so much. Yankee sister, Brenda Allen, and Miss Debbie Epps. G Mama Grows. And I think you are all speaking to each other. I'm thankful that you're here. Okay. And I, I'm most appreciative that you're here. I've been on YouTube since 2015. It was right after I had a major surgery and my voice was, uh, I couldn't control uh, my voice, so I took most of those videos out off of YouTube, but I've been in these YouTube streets, as they say, uh, since 2015, and I know just a uh, low participation rate around this time of year because in some of the gardening zones, the climate is cooler and some of you guys have snow and so you don't watch as many videos and it picks up around March so I want you to know that I really appreciate all of you all being in my lives particularly this time of the year okay and I hope that you would get inspired by something that I say or somebody in the chat that will start you dreaming about your garden uh, for the spring of 2022. Uh, I'm going to start my seeds next week. I procrastinated. I thought I could get them done this week, but I just had too much going on. But I'm going to get them started. Um, a few seeds. I'm going to start the seeds of peppers and a few trees that take a long time to germinate and a long time between you, the, the first breaking through the soil till you put them outside in March or the greenhouse in February. So I will get started and I'll take you along and share with you every step of the way of my germination process. Hello, Cotham's Creations. And I'm just seeing if I missed anybody else. I thank all of you all for being here. Hey, Stinky Puddle Ranch. 
Good to see you. Hey, Lynette Tucker. Good to see you too. And Vanessa Buckner. Okay, so today I just want to go over, just real quickly review the groups. And the reason why I do that is because somebody always email and asks how can they join the groups and what you get out of the groups. And there are three perk clubs. One, you pay $2.99 a month. And you get a shout out in every Monday night's uh, chat video. I let you put the link to your channel up. And if you want to say a few words in that uh, sentence or two, you're welcome to do that. And I also send you some seeds every month. This month, I'm sending out okra seeds. This is the sixth generation of the Clemson Spineless okra seeds that I've been growing, okra that I've been growing in my backyard for seven years. Probably longer, but I started saving the seeds. Now, these seeds came from this past summer. And so what I do is I ask anybody that is in any of the perk groups, I mentioned one, the 299 Grow Your Own Club, just send me an email and just put okra seeds in the subject line and I will send you six of these seeds. Now, if you don't need them, don't email me because, you know, you know, since me sending them out and you're not going to use them because a lot of you all are like me. You know that saving seeds is like printing your own money and you don't have to buy it. Buy the same seeds over and over if you deal with heirloom variety seeds and you collect them. And I've got a lot of videos in my playlist on how to save seeds. So those of you that have emailed me, your seeds um, are on the way. And I think I mentioned that yesterday. I have a few envelopes that I'm going to uh, put in the mail tomorrow. And so if you need some seeds and you're in any of the perk groups, I'll be happy to send you some. Now, let's talk about the next tier of the perk groups. The cost of that group which is called Eat Your Own, is $4.99 a month. And you get all the perks from the first tier that I mentioned, Grow Your Own. But in this tier, you are able to attend one class on preservation that I give several classes a month, okay? Except for the month of uh, November and December where the holidays are coming up. I don't schedule myself real tightly there because I'll be working on getting orders out for my product line. So if you want to join for $4.99 a month, you will get a chance to uh, get coached while you're going through some of my classes. For example, I do water bath canning, pressure canning, and these are all done over Zoom so that I can monitor and coach you and let you and see exactly what you're doing. And coming up next Sunday, which is December the 5th, and they're all the classes are always on a Sunday at 12 noon Central Standard Time. And if you have any questions about any of these groups, hold them until I finish this segment, and then I'll look over at my monitor and answer your questions. And please put your questions in all caps, okay? You're not yelling. You're alerting this old lady that you have a question. And so, anyway, getting back to the $4.99 a month, you get some C's every month, you get a shout-out every Monday when I have a Zoom, pardon me, when I have a Monday Night Live chat, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, people know who you are and, uh, and how long you've been with the Perks Club by your little emblem. If you've probably seen some people, I think I'm just looking at Antia up on the screen. She's a moderator where she has the wrench and then she also have the two hibiscus, the gold and uh, the white one. And then there is At Home with Cherie. You can see she's a moderator. And she has the red Texas Star hibiscus, meaning that she's been in the clubs for three months. And then the last club, which is Make Your Own. If you're new to my channel, I have my own product company where I make natural products for your hair, your skin, and for your spirit and for your overall health, which includes hair products, skin products, butters and creams and lotions and natural candles and uh, 
organic teas that can improve your blood pressure, help you sleep, help you to relax, help you fight anti uh, radicals in your body that, that will prevent you from getting cancer. And then I have one that will help you lower your blood sugar if you're like me and are prone to uh, diabetes too, which I've been diagnosed as pre-diabetic for quite a long time. And I've controlled it with my, what I eat and what I drink. I don't have to take medication. So you don't have to succumb to, say, your father had high blood pressure and, and your mom did or your, your, your sister has high diabetes. There are a lot of things that you can take early before you uh, have to go on medication. But if you're on medication and you want to try one of my teas, just make sure that you consult your doctor and that you don't go off your medication. And I say this often. On my website plenty of times I am not a doctor I say it on my chats in my videos I cannot treat or diagnose anybody I can only tell you what works for me and what has been helping me with my kidney disease thyroid disease pre-diabetic status and I don't know if I said high blood pressure okay all right so now you can grow you can join the Make Your Own Club and learn how to make your own products for $9.99 a month. And I assure you, I'm very thorough. There are a lot of people that are in this chat right now that have attended my classes that I charge $50 for. There are people in this room right now that originally paid $50 for some classes before YouTube came up with the PERC program. And by the way, you can join Pay your monthly fee and leave anytime you want. After you've learned how to make, let's say your agenda is to make lotion. After I've shown you how to make natural lotions, you can cancel. If you want to learn how to make creamy body butters, like I sell on my website, you can take that class and then leave. Cancel your membership after that. Okay? All right. Now, I saw somebody in green. Green means they made a comment. And let me go back. and just flashed on the camera there, but I want to see who it was so I can acknowledge them. I don't see it. Did she retract it? Oh, there it goes. And that is Best Yet Journey. She's been in the Eat Your Own Club for four months. So every month, depending on your anniversary date, you get a chance to do a shout out in addition to the one I'm going to allow you to do uh, to celebrate how many months. That's a good feeling. I know I'm smiling and I can't help it because I just started this four months ago and the clubs are growing uh, exponentially. And I just really, really appreciate Best Yet hitting that button. Now, those of you that are on the club or in the clubs, you can click on the dollar sign. And even if you're not in the clubs, if you want to join, you click on the dollar sign just below the chat. Do you see it? Then you can see super stickers, super chats, and memberships. You could click right there and join one of the tiers, one of the groups, one of the perks club, you're welcome to join any of them, okay? And also, let's say you just join for $2.99 the Grow Your Own Club, and then later you decide that you want to start making your own products for yourself, for your family, or, or, or to, to start your own business. You can upgrade your membership at any time, okay? At this time, I'm going to ask my moderators to put up my email address. And several of you can do it so that we'll have more people that have it. And then I want you to please put my cash app up. And if you would like to donate to this channel for any reason... We encourage you to do so via the chat, the uh, 
Cash App that keeps my YouTube channel going and it keeps me, for example, I gave away two brown turkey fig tree yesterday and that helps me with uh, sending those to those people. Okay, now I think I see another green. It moves by so fast. Yes. That was the same. No, that was the same one. Okay. No, I saw another one. Shanana. She joined the Make Your Own Club. Let's give her a hand, everybody, and welcome her. We appreciate you, Shanana. Thank you so much for joining. And speaking of creams, I just put some on my elbows. <laughs> Sometimes I forget, but I try to remember at least every Monday to, <laughs> to put, some, um, <laughs> put some body butter on. And also now that I'm doing a chat on Sunday afternoon at 2.30 every week, Blessings from the Garden. And that's where I gave the trees away yesterday. Small trees. But they grow really, really fast. And Endale is a wonderful moderator. And she's just letting you all know that she already used her hello, hello turn. Um, I say, I imitate Tyler Perry, Medea, so much with hello that I, <laughs> I almost did it when I was speaking. Uh, she, uh, Andale is saying she already used her hello, hello. Uh, greeting this month, but you get one every month. And C. Thomas, thank you so much for putting my email address. And uh, Stinky Puddle Ranch did it as well as I think somebody else. I think I saw it. But anyway, Miss Quinny's Playroom. She's been a member for two months. Let's congratulate her. And I love what she said. She said, these clubs have real content. I don't play. And I get a, um, mm, mm. <laughs> because I'm confident and I'm thorough. Some people think I could be a little arrogant and I'm not. I just give it to you, the meat and the bread and tell you how to do things and because I know what I know that I know that I don't come across as well I just started doing this I'm not going to let my light be to appease people I know what I know and what I know but I know how to make some products I know and I know how to preserve some food okay and this is my ministry. This is my mission. This is what I'm supposed to be doing right now. And I know that my steps are ordered from God, and I'm going to keep on doing it. I don't care what nobody say about me, okay? I have an assignment. I understand it, and I'm going to complete it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is an assignment. I take this very seriously. I study. Before I came on here today from 5 o'clock when I woke up from my nap, and I don't mind telling you, this old girl had to take her a nap, <laughs> a long one, because I kind of got myself kind of run down. I'm not going to go into any detail, but the first thing I did was I studied my notes for the topic of the day. I don't get on here and just chit-chat and play games to entertain you. I research and I present my topic, and then I answer your questions to the best of my ability. So I hope some of you all will join the clubs and the people that are in the clubs, just like Miss Quinny's Playroom just said, it's gonna be very thorough and it's gonna be real content. It's gonna be over Zoom and I don't play. I get to the procedure and I show you how to do it, okay? All right, now that I've preached a little bit, Hi, they call me Sunshine. Thank you for being here. And I thank you, Bobby Wilson. Bobby Wilson. I think you sent me something. I, I won't say it, but I appreciate it. I know I got a card from you. Oh, 
And on my camera, on my, this uh, reception, clear. Let's go back. I want to mention our honorary members. It's Miss Ellen Pankey, Viola Graham, Jean Dudley, Deb M., and Myra McCain. These are our golden girls that are in their 70s. And they are honorary members of the Eat Your Own Club. They don't have to pay the $4.99 fee. And I just feel a part of my ministry is helping senior citizens. You all probably saw a real short video I did with Miss Beverly, whose hair I've been doing for 30 years, retired school teacher. I grow a lot of food just to give to senior citizens. Because they have a special place in my heart. And I'm a senior citizen. And there's a couple of people that are getting close to 70 that have emailed me, not asking to get in the club, just, just email me at random and let me know in the process of that email how old they were. And they will be getting in the uh, honorary members of the Eat Your Own Club, too, and they'll get all the perks. Now, um... Blessed Queen won the fig tree, the, the fig sapling that I rooted. Uh, please send me an address. And I don't know why I felt like I saw it. My granddaughter who was helping me may have accidentally deleted it. I went in my trash. I didn't see it, but it could have been somebody else. But just in case you didn't send it to me, or if you did, please make sure that you send it to me again. Okay. Now. Lion Crest Outdoors, thank you for being here. I am particularly fond of Lion Crest Outdoors. And the reason I am is because he is very studious. He studies and he doesn't get up and half step. And I've said this before, half do something. That's half step, my mom used to say. He studies. And he brings the information to you. And he was really, really trying to educate gardeners. I just love him. And I'm, I'm recommending that you all go and check him out if you haven't already. And he just put a video out on something that can help me. He reviewed a uh, small handsaw that was back reoperated and when I saw it I said oh let me go and put this in my shopping cart for later at Amazon because I know it can help me tremendously when I'm pruning trees and I don't have to be worrying about the extension cord and all that so it's in my shopping cart and I also want to shout out somebody else at this time she is not a content creator but I sure wish she was and that is Gosh, her name is on the tip of my tongue. Oh, man. Star uh, Love Notes. I was going to say starts with an L. She always comes into the chat with some very interesting uh, information to contribute to whatever topic that we are on. Or if she sees something in my video, she will comment and she'll help me to uh, bring to my attention, uh, if you will, uh, some things. For example, I did a little short video about my the remote wireless thermometer and hydrometer. And I've been talking about this little gadget for two or three years. And uh, pardon me, guys, while I turn off my phone. Because both of them are synced. And I don't need to be getting these notifications. Do not disturb. Okay, we got it. And she said, I like that little gadget, but have you ever considered... I'm paraphrasing. She might have said, you need to get uh, uh, Amazon affiliate. And so, I do... You all know I do hair on Saturday morning. That was... Early Saturday morning when I read that, and in between my hair clients, 
I uh, did the membership application, whatever, online and got approved. But I've been real busy and a little under the weather, and I haven't had an opportunity to put everything on that I recommend. But I did put in that video, and I'll put it in this video tonight in the description box, the link to this little sensor. And this is wonderful, because I want to tell you, it, yesterday it was no heat on, but it was, the greenhouse is buttoned up. And I've been talking about how I've been prepping my greenhouse for the winter for the last month or so. And it got to 105 degrees. And see, that's what a lot of people don't know is when you don't have any windows open or the door open or the door compartment or opening, and it is 70 degrees or more outside and it's real sh the sun is shining a lot, it's going to heat that green house up real quickly of about uh, 30 or 40 degrees hotter inside that greenhouse than outside. So you have to be very careful. And this is one thing that saves me from having to get all nervous in the middle of the night if it's too cold or if it's too hot during the day. I can just pick up this monitor. And... For example, right now, in two separate compartments of the greenhouse, there are different temperatures. It's 70 degrees in one area, and it's 66 degrees in, the, in one area. And where it's 66 degrees, the humidity is 71. It has a little frowning face. But over here, where the, the temperature is 70 degrees, the humidity is 48, and it has a happy face. So as long as you keep that humidity below 50, it's really good for the plants. Above 50, like that 71 i'm not worried about it because i know what it is it is the black garbage can that i put in there to prepare for cold temperatures and it'll be warm in the inside of the greenhouse and then i have another sensor over here where my soursop trees and it's 73 degrees and inside my house the reason why i am perspiring right now is because it's 79 degrees so I need to go adjust my thermostat in the house. I'll be right back, okay? Okay, so I adjusted the temperature in the house and I put on a small fan. So everything is feeling good. That breeze feels real good. Okay, so Antia said that it's snowing now and sticking to the ground. I'm mad. I'm probably, I'm mad as you know what. And girl, game nerd mom said it's snowing right now where she lives. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really happy that you all are here. Because I do know you lose your mojo. Um, when, um, you know, temperatures like that. And you don't, you know, you know, you do working on other projects in the home. But I'm blessed that I can garden all year round. But you got to be real smart with it. And that's when I, I keep talking about this device because before I had this device, I would constantly run out there with a flashlight and check the thermometers in the middle of the night. Just like a crazy person. Even though I got a lot of solar floodlights around my property, I have a security camera back there. Um, I wasn't worried about the privacy fence. I wasn't worried about anybody seeing me or bothering me. It was just inconvenient going in and out the cold like that bundling all up and coming out in this warm. So um, I want to thank Love Notes for um, telling me I need to do something that several other people have mentioned to me, but I was just procrastinating and wasn't getting around to it. The other thing I want to say is I had people that tell me that I need to do a wish list. 
I haven't done none. Do you all think I should do it? I want you to know all of the gifts that I told you that people blessed me with this past month or so, it didn't come from a wish list. They just saw a need and decided to bless me and I thank them. But do you all think I should do a wish list? I want to hear from you all. Denise says she lost all of her tomatoes to frost. Yeah. Yeah, tomatoes and peppers, once they get 32 degrees, you you know, you're going to lose them. Somebody said, Gangner mom says she's, it's been snowing a little bit, but not sticking in uh, Ohio. Yes. Okay, Andrea Lucas, Vanessa, Barb Brownlee said yes. Okay, so when I get the free time, I'm going to put on my... Uh, affiliate program links to the things that I buy for um, from Amazon. For example, I'm going to link the, and y'all know I'm or organic and I don't use a lot of fertilizers, but I do use neem oil as an insect repellent. I do use worm castings once or twice a year. There are certain things, different grow lights. Uh, one company sent me some and I'm going to recommend them. It's just a little um, three-prong light that you need there's another one I think that I got for five prongs, and I'm going to recommend that. Just whatever I use that I recommend. And then I'll go ahead, when I have the time, and do a wish list. Okay? Because you all have been very sweet to me and very supportive. And, you know, if enough people keep telling me to do a wish list, then I think I should do it. I don't want to block my blessing. But I do want you to know everything that was sent to me, from the roses to the to the uh, ring adjustable light for me to do more canning videos and not have to hold it with one hand. All of that came from the person's heart. And I know that God blessed them to be in a position to bless me. I keep saying it, this is my blessing season because I'm really reaping beautiful things and I'm so grateful. Rose Florence said, Lady Cheryl, I have learned so much from your channel. Also, I use the hair products. Everything is good. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know that. I may just copy your review because that's just what you did. Gave me a review and put it on my website. I'm on behind. I'm I'm also behind in doing that as well. Uh, thank you, Debbie. She put it in all caps. Caps, please do your wish list. I will. Thank you so much. Never thought about it, but I will. Yankee Sister says, I can't in the garage, but I'm about to see what I can make happen in the basement. Oh, man. Hey, Pure Pondering. Good to see you here. You can do a lot in a basement. When I, my husband and I first got married, first we had an apartment on Fifth Avenue. In those days, Fifth Avenue was the higher echelon. People lived on Fifth Avenue uh, in Gary, Indiana. And then... Um, we decided to help my mother out, and her brother was a uh, contractor. And we remodeled her basement. It was already there with rooms and stuff, but we put a kitchen in the bathroom, shower, and all that in, and we paid rent to my mother. And that was a basement apartment. And I used shop lights, the same type of fluorescent shop lights that I use today to start my seeds. I did it in the basement. Who am I speaking to? I think it was... Yankee sister. Somebody just said they, they could think about growing stuff in your basement. You can. And let's face it, the basement is warmer in most cities than uh, the main floor or the upstairs because it's buried deep into the ground. But you don't get a lot of light. So we have the regular little windows taken out and we put those glass block windows there with vents. And that brought in a lot of sunlight, and we used shop lights. And I wasn't growing a garden then in 1974. That's the year I got married. But I had a jungle of houseplants. And when people would come down in the basement, they couldn't believe that I was growing as much as I was growing. And I had mains and little cards on each plant, and I talked to them and misted them with moisture water for moisture and little cute little watering cans because uh, it was several years before I had any children so those plants were my babies and even today when I start seeds I saw home with Cherie did a couple of short little videos about her baby seedlings I feel the same way that's the beauty of gardening for me is when I see that tiny little seed 
like this okra plant. Isn't that incredible? That tiny little seed will pr produce an okra plant that will grow six, seven, eight feet tall. It's amazing. And the more you grow by seeds, the more you're able to recognize things and you don't have to label everything. Because you'll know what it is. You'll know what a marigold looks like when it's getting a second set of true leaves. And a lot of plants like purple top mustard, uh, rainbow tack soy, um, Swiss chard, golden beets, red Detroit red beets, you will know by the stem of color of what it's going to be. It shows you very early on. Our God is an awesome God, and everything grows differently. It's just amazing. So I love growing by seeds. Now, if you're working or you're not good at growing from seed, I encourage you to just try a few of them every year. And the next thing you know, and when you realize, <laughs> especially when you start saving seeds and all of the food that you're growing out there is free, it's amazing. Almost everything that I have growing right now is free. It's either somebody gave me some seeds or I collected some seeds or I got some seeds on sale and then collected them the next year. I don't hardly pay for this stuff anymore, guys. It's a beautiful thing. Now, have you noticed how, that I've been transitioning? I got three air layers on my fig tree. I ate four figs this morning. I'm showing three hands, three fingers. I put three in the video, but what you don't know, I was watering. If you listen to that video, you can hear the water running in the background. And I watched one of them all popped it in my mouth. I said, oh, wait a minute. No, that thing didn't taste that good. <laughs> the last of November, and I picked up my cell phone because I always have it with me when I'm going outside. And I did a short little 16-second video. Was that yesterday or today? I don't remember, guys. You know I'm a senior citizen. But the point I'm making is now I'm multiplying trees. Last year I gave away a lot of Texas Star Hibiscus seeds. And people are growing them. And pretty soon they are going to be able to give away Texas Star Hibiscus seeds. It's a good feeling when somebody email you and you put, put a picture in and show you what they're doing. So... I did three successful air layers. I'm gonna take them down. I told you about two weeks ago. I'm gonna do it this week before it gets real cold. I'm gonna put them in pots, put them in the greenhouse. Now, this is what I wanna share with you. Here are my elderberries. I showed them to you a few weeks ago. <laughs> I'm trying to pick up one that has some branches and, oh, I can't get it. Let me just do it like this. You have to be very careful because you don't want to knock off the roots. Look at that. You see those roots? You see that branch, those leaves? That's going to be a branch. Look at here. Two of them. Now, I want you to know, let me get some paper towel. None of these had any branches or any green on them. I removed all of that when I put them in the water about two or three weeks ago. So where do you think, how deep are you, do you think I'm gonna bury this? I'm gonna bury this because roots will eventually start coming out of there too. So these are elderberries. These are the wild elderberries that the seller on Facebook told me didn't need another pollinator because they grew wild in Texas. And then I had people in the elderberry groups on Facebook told me, Good luck. You're probably going to get you some flowers and you can make some wine or champagne out of it. But if you don't have any other bees to cross, uh, varieties to cross pollinate, good luck. You're not going to get any ber berries. I'm here to tell you I got berries the second year and the third year, which was last year, I made a lot of elderberry syrup with my juice extractor that I bought from Roots and Branches. That's another thing that I'm going to put on my Amazon affiliate links so i got all of these elderberries that i'm rooting and everywhere where you see these little white bumps those are roots that white bump turned to this green thing here just beautiful i have a lot of them some of them produce stronger roots than others or longer roots look at this one this root 
That's how I know that this right here would produce roots, this green part. Let me get a piece of paper towel. I think you can see that green right there. See that green right there? But from that green root, I got all of this. So I got to be careful because I don't want to um, break it off. So I'm going to be potting these up tomorrow. And there are quite a few here. Quite a few. There are a lot here. And then I have two more mason jars full over by my sink, uh, on my counter close to the window, where I have um, some I started two weeks prior to this. So I'm going to always now, like I collect seeds, I'm going to always be multiplying my fruit trees, either through air layering or through rooting. I didn't use any harm moan or anything on it just water here's another one and you can see all the little roots you see the white root there growing in here yeah i'm really excited about it i'm going like why didn't i do this early yeah and i may have mentioned i think i did last week about juicing with jay ask anybody to email him if they wanted some cuttings or put it on the comments and I said, oh, I'd like to have some cuttings of your palm granite tree because I lost mine in the big polar freeze last winter. If I had just took a few cuttings, we knew it was going to be cold. But I didn't think about it. But now going forward, any time it is predicted that we're going to have unseasonably cold temperatures, I'm going to be a Grafton food or a Grafton queen, whatever name you want to give me. I'm going to be out there cutting off those branches and putting them in water and removing all the leaves so I can see uh, progress of life uh, as I'm rooting them. So going forward, I won't be caught out like that. Lady Cheryl, would these elderberry cuttings be for sale? Yes, they are. They're going to be $25 each. I've already bought. Let me go get it. And that includes the shipping. So when I pop these up tomorrow, they're gonna go into these little dome uh, planters where I can see the root system uh, with the naked eye. And uh, I haven't decided if I'm gonna ship them in this or not. It probably will, because it's very, very light. And um, it costs so much to ship nowadays. That's the reason why I'm charging $25. Because I'm going to put it in a nice, um, this is too small, but this is a packing box that I use for my orders. I'm going to put it in, no, actually, this, this, this will work. A box like this that, you know, you can't crush. And then I will put uh, fragile all around it on the, with a sticker so, so the post office won't step on them or, you know. Do some crazy stuff. And then it'll have some peanuts in it as well to keep them from crushing. Okay? Thanks for asking that question, Debbie. If anybody want an elderberry cutting, I suggest that you cash app me the $25 now. I've got a lot of people said, put me on the list, put me on the list. They want a fed cutting. They want uh, an elderberry cutting. They want comfrey, but they're not sending any money. Now, this is business. I am going to send the cuttings to the people that pay first. I don't care how many kisses I blow you because I love you and I love everybody. But this is business. And I see that that is Yankee's sister asking where I got the containers, Amazon. And I will put a link. And I will tell you, I learned about that uh, dome with the humidity because let me show you, you can close it off. This is what I recommend you do your Texas Star Hibiscus in. It has a little knob here at the top, 
and you can open and close. If you see it's getting too cloudy and too much moisture, open it up. If your trees start growing too big, I pop one of these out so the tree can grow up through the hole. I learned about this from Cherie, at home with Cherie. I, that's why I tell y'all all the time, I'm learning too. I don't know everything. I didn't even know they, this existed until I saw her using them in the video. And let's give credit what credit is due. Guys, guys, guys. Help me, Lord, how I say this. There's a lot of ugly stuff going on in these YouTube streets. If you learn something from somebody, give them credit. Now, me, I can take it. But a lot of people can't. When I say I can take it, I just, I just let it roll off my back. When I see a content creator who's been gardening only for a year, and I know that she is quoting me or he is quoting me verbatim and have even given me credit on my channel saying that I taught them something, and then I see you make a video and you say somebody else taught it to you, It used to be a little annoying, but now I know they are threatened and they're intimidated. And they think the way to build up their channel is to get into little clicks. Have y'all noticed that I'm not in any of them? Have you all noticed that when shots are fired, I never respond? I'll put something on like Denzel Washington saying, peace be still. Sometimes the best thing to do is just to be quiet. So I get shots fired at me all the time, but I don't react to them. What did I tell y'all the other day when my mother said, baby, consider the source. If somebody has an ulterior motive behind what they do, don't let them rattle your cage. <laughs> Another thing from my mom, just consider the source and let it roll off your back because there are a lot of people out in these YouTube streets know that it came from me. I don't have to prove anything to anybody. And the other thing is, there's somebody that's more powerful than us all. He sits high and he looks low. And he knows everything that's going on and he will bless you accordingly. So I don't have to get recognition by these gardeners of 2020 that just started gardening. Want to give it to another content creator who just started gardening in 2020. And you've been following my videos for years. I don't have to get no credit from you. Because I know who's going to give me credit. Do I have to say anything else? He sits high and looks low. And there's a lot of stuff going on in these YouTube streets. And I sit in the bleachers and watch, but I never leave a comment. I'm too dignified for that. I'm not letting anybody lure me into a battle. Okay? All right. Oh, I'm so glad I got that off my chest. I feel so free. <laughs> okay. Priya Pondry said, I wish one of my co-workers would learn the grace of quiet and non-reactivity. That is so true. And ladies, I was married almost 40 years. You know what ticked my husband off more than anything? <laughs> Bless his soul, may he rest in paradise. It was when he would say something crazy to me and I would not say nothing to him. Burn them up every time. When they want that negative reaction out of you, don't give it to them. When your spouse wants that negative reaction, don't give it to them. When a YouTuber try to get your goat, don't give it to them. When a co-worker sitting right next to you try to get your goat, who was that? <laughs> who was that that said that? Pure pondering, don't give them. Because what they do is they're just like Satan. They'll see where your weakness is 
and they'll keep on digging at you and digging at you. But if you let them know that it rolls off your back, that neighbor that comes and looks at your garden and take pictures when she thinks you're not looking, don't say nothing to them. When the other neighbor come to you and tell you that the neighbor said you think you know everything because you can grow this and grow that, you do. You can grow it. They're just envious. They're just jealous. Don't worry about it. Somebody sits high and looks low. And that's the only person you have to give an account to is the father. <laughs> Envy is a fool and, a, and jealousy is a liar. Yes, yes, Pinky Puddle Ranch. A lie will fly all over the world, but the truth will stand on when it comes. Yes, will stand on its own. It's definitely more gracious to stay quiet, Lady Cheryl. That's what Nia Love say. Yes. And Debbie Epps says, amen. I'm not crying, guys. This is uh, the fan that I put on. And it's, I feel cool now, so I'm going to go ahead on and turn it off. Yeah, people. It's enough room at the top for everybody. I didn't just start shouting out people on my YouTube channel on Monday night. I've done it from the very beginning. And then when I did it with, with the perk clubs, I said, okay, then I'll let them put their YouTube channels in the live chat. I don't have chats and don't publish the live feed. I want everybody to read the live feed when they're watching the replay. So what I want to do now is what I always do. Let's put everybody in the chat that has a YouTube channel. Put your channel up right now. Anybody that's in any of the perk clubs, put your channel up. And if you don't have a channel, I want you to put on there the zone that you grow in. And maybe you might want to say, coming soon, a channel. Because there are a lot of people in here that didn't have a channel when I first started this. But now they do. Okay? Crazy town with <laughs> what Cherie <you read laughs> said. <laughs> and pure pondering is letting her know that envious and malice, where is it? It's moving so fast over so many things. Somebody just said they didn't know this behavior is going on in the garden. He says, oh, baby. Oh, yes, it is. It's really bad. <laughs> hey, now, we got Antia, got her channel up. Joyce Moore. Says she don't have time for unnecessary drama. Let's congratulate her. She's been with us for three months. Miss Ellen. Uh, I'm going to ask, uh, I'm going to ask at home with Cherie with, to put Miss Ellen's web, uh, uh, YouTube channel up at home with Cherie or Debbie Epps. Put Miss Ellen Panky's, uh, YouTube channel up. And I like how Stinky Puddle Ranch, they are in an area where they're in between zones. So they're putting up zone 6B, 7A, and 7B. Lion Crest, Professor Q, I need you to put your, a link to your channel, sir. You in 8A by me, neighbor, but I want your channel up. Please, sir, I want people to check you out. And Brenda Allen says she's thinking about starting the channel. What's the thing about, Brenda? You need to go for it. Don't think that you don't have nothing to offer people because you do. Okay? Put your channel up. I don't care if you just put one video up a month. Put your channel up. Thank you, Ann Dale. Her land of plenty, which her, her channel name is Andale Homestead. She's in 8A. Now, let me tell you something about Andale. Andale is in zone 8A. 
But her climbing is different. And with conditions than me and Lioncrest. So we could be in the same zone, but the temperature and the humidity and the length of the seasons, growing seasons can be different. But this is a good way for you to click on these links and find somebody that is in your zone. Make friends with them. My best friends now are on YouTube in the gardening community because they understand me. My family does it. They get tired of me going on vacations and talking about my garden. <laughs> but my gardening friends never get tired of me. Okay, so make some friends with like-minded people. Hi, so good gardener. And I see Debbie Epps is congratulating uh, Joyce for her three months. Thank you, Miss Kia Parks. You never know. You might want to join and uh, YouTube family and get your channel started too. Hey, best yet, best yet, where is the link to your channel? You can't click on your name anymore like you used to. Hey, Growing With Hudson. Put your channel up, Growing With Hudson. No, you're, you're, I don't, you're not in the purse club. We're going to do the moderators in a few minutes. Yankee Sisters, 18 miles from Miss Ellen. Oh, that is real good. Hold on, uh, Growing With Hudson. Put the moderators up in a minute. Okay, so I think we got most of them. Let me go to my notes. The next thing I'm going to talk about is our Christmas party. It is for moderators and club members. It will be on Zoom December the 5th at 3 o'clock. Please put it on your calendar. I'll be sending you out a code probably uh, today is Monday by Wednesday. I will be putting out, giving you all a code, Wednesday, Thursday. And please, I don't want anybody to have access to that code unless they are a member of the Perks Club, the amazing Perks Clubs. Grow your own, eat your own, make your own, or if they are moderators. And this party will be 3 o'clock. We're just going to come together and just celebrate Christmas and I have some special things for all of you. Okay? Now, if you are a member of Eat Your Own or Make Your Own Products, you can attend this food preservation class that is coming up on December 5th. I will be teaching dehydration. It'll be a small demonstration, but we don't have time to wait the appropriate amount of hours for something to dehydrate. So dehydrate. So it's only going to be about an hour lecture, and then I'll answer your questions. And when we finish answering the questions, we'll, we'll end the Zoom meeting, and then we'll go into, at 3 o'clock, the Christmas party. Okay? I'm going to talk about dehydrators and what you do when you dehydrate them. Now, for those of you that are in the Make Your Own Club, the next class is coming up on December the 12th, and it is always 12 o'clock noon, all classes, Central Standard Time, and this will be December the 12th, and we're going to be making body butters and oils, oils for your skin, oils for your hair, and body butters that you can use on both appendages of your skin, hair, and nails. Okay? All right. And that's the schedule for the rest of the year because I'm taking a couple Sundays off. So if you're interested in the Make Your Own Products, send me an email so I can send you the code. Say, I want to go to the class on December 12th in subject line. And then I immediately give you a code. Okay? But the codes won't go out until about Thursday. And if you're in any of those two groups, the $4.99 growth, 
eat your own or the $9.99, make your own. Send me an email and say you want to go to the class. So I'm not sending codes out to everybody. I'm just sending them out to people that want to come. Okay? All right. Okay, that's it. Okay, let me go back to my notes. Well, let me see what's going on in the chat first. Hey, Stacy from Hands in the Dirt. Good to see you. Hey, so good, Gardner. He said he don't remember how to post his channel. Are you in one of the groups? You can't post your channel until you in one of the groups, so good, Gardner. I don't see a... a a logo by your name. My logo, either the black and white one or the um, gold and white one or the red hibiscus. You have to be in one of the perks clubs. If you're not in the perks club, all you have to do, and if you want to join, is click on the dollar sign at the bottom of the chat and just scroll down and you'll see membership and you can join one. All the people that are posting uh, their channels are people that are in my perks club. Okay? Now I'm going to talk a little bit more. And then get ready, guys. Those of you that are moderators, I'm going to let you post yours. But hold on a minute. Let me go over my notes. Okay. Again, if you want one of the elderberries, it will be in soil. It will be with this dome. It will be be fully rooted and uh, leaves leafing out and in a really nice box I'll send it to you so just let me know if you want one send it to my cash app okay okay so somebody will put the cash app up again I would appreciate it I think I got it copied here I'll do it too copy cash app There we go. And I will go ahead and put the email address. And remember, if you email me and tell me you want one, I'll put you on the list. But the Cash App Talks, those are the people who get them first. No more than fair. I got a long list, but no money. And there's my email address. Thank you, Andale. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, Antia. Okay, so we got a lot in the Yeah, thank you, Barb Brownie. She's putting the party on December 5th at 3 o'clock. And we can play music and stuff like that and won't be running into copyright, you know, strikes. Well, not strikes, but I think they warned you the first time. I got one warning when I picked up my phone. I think it was last Sunday and I was... Uh, playing a little music, I got a warning, but they said it's not a strike. Three strikes, you out. Okay. Also, if you're looking at the video live, there's a join button, because I'm not a member of my own uh, channel. So uh, right there, you can click on it and you can join. Another thing I want to share with you, there are 63 people in the chat and only, I'm sorry, 83 people in the chat and only 63 people have hit that thumbs up button. Please hit the thumbs up button because it uh, jiggles or whatever word you want to use, the algorithm. Another thing I want to say is subscribers. If you are subscribed and you don't watch any videos, that you will be removed and don't get notifications. Uh, I have a lot of people saying they didn't get the notifications. I don't know exactly how it works, but that's, this is what I've been told when I went in the uh, help area of YouTube. Um, people said that they the, the subscribers that were removed were inactive. And I think that's no more than fair because you shouldn't have a big subscriber count and then you got a low viewership so i ask that if you subscribe to my channel only subscribe if you want to watch a future content okay 
dead weight. Thank you, Miss Kia Parks. Because that's all that is. And it brings down your um, analytics. Thank you, Andale. She said, if you're watching from your iPhone, you will not be able to see the join button. You need to watch from your computer or your tablet. Thanks for letting me know, Andale. I didn't know that. Thank you very much. And Janet is in the house. And let me see, that name look real familiar. Okay, I need an a email address from Two Acre, pardon me, Two Abundant Acres. I've been saying it every week. Uh, Miss Davis, I need an email address. And GT Jr. Grows for in Alaska. I need a email address. And I don't think I need an email address from anybody in the Make Your Own Club. They are pretty. No. They call me. Yeah, I got her. Yeah. I, everybody in that group, that 999 group, they on top of it. And I can see from my phone that I'm already getting emails about the next two classes. Let's fill them up, guys. You won't regret taking the classes. I promise you. Okay, so let's close that out. And let's go to my next note. Red Texas Star Hibiscus seeds will be going out in two weeks. You will get an email and a tracking number. And somebody asked me, was I going to be doing classes on how to start them? And I said, no, because that'll be redundant, because I already have that in. You can go look on the playlist. But I will tell you this. Be patient. It takes a long time to start the Texas Star High Business. Some people just gave up on it and put, put it in some potting soil with other stuff. And then around July, seeds started popping up that they were starting in February or whatever date it was. So just be patient. They will come up, but it takes a while, okay? All right, and I've got addresses for everybody that uh, sent me money. Okay, so we're through with that. I can close that one out. Okay, let's see. The country. The same thing. I'm not going over anymore. If you sent me money for shipping, I'll send it to you. That's it. I'm, I don't need to talk about that anymore. Okay, now I'm going to go over my topic, and after I go over my topic, let me, that's okay. Let me let everybody that has a wrench by their name. These are my wonderful moderators. Go ahead and put your websites up. Uh, Auntie says, I still have a few Texas Star High Biscuit seeds from last year, been in the fridge since the last year. I'm planting them this year. Yes, yes, that's the way to do it. And I collected seeds of the white Texas Star High Biscuit and uh, I'm going to germinate them and grow more. And next year, if you all want to have the white one, uh, uh, you know, I'll send them to you. Uh, somebody said something about yucca. I found that out that the hummingbirds, yucca, I thought the seeds were dead and then they sprang up. Yeah, it's be seeds that be in the ground for a couple of years and they'll come up. And the reason why I'm saying that is because that's what happened to my White Texas Star Hibiscus. I put some seeds in the ground to direct sow them in the spring. And they didn't come up at all until the next year. So don't give up too quick. Okay? All my moderators, please put your channels up. Thank you, Best Yet. Thank you, Andale. We appreciate you. Now, I tell y'all all the time, Grown With Us, and thank you. I tell everybody, I got the best moderators on YouTube. Now, everybody's saying it. I'm sorry, you don't. I got the best moderators. Debbie Epps named them the LC Mod Squad. And we have, have the best moderators. I had to get close in the <laughs> camera to say that. <laughs> thank you, moderators. And I will be honoring you all at my Christmas party. 
Okay, now I'm getting ready to go over my topic for today. And to tell you something that I've discovered. You remember those um, small gorilla carts that I bought? That I put the soursop trees in? I could have put two trees in one gorilla cart. Because I'm noticing I got all this spare soil. Because the trees don't, they kind of grow like uh, citrus trees. They don't have long, deep tap roots. They're more like feeder roots. So while they're in the house, I may just go ahead on and repot them and put them all in one cart. Put both of them in one cart. But we're going to see. I'll, I'll keep watching it. And if I think I'm going to stress it out, I'll leave it alone until next year when I bring them in the house. But I just want to bring that to your attention. That that black small gorilla cart is really a lot of area. And I could have put two trees in that one cart. Okay. Now, the topic that I'm going to talk about is those trees that are in those gorilla carts. And they are the soursop trees. And I just want everybody to know that I started them from seeds November 2017. I don't have any fruit yet. I'm anticipating fruit this year. But even if I never get any fruit, I'm so thankful that I decided to grow them from seeds after doing my research and I found out that they really help with preventing and treating cancer. And you all know I'm a cancer survivor. Mm -hmm. So if that's my topic for today, why I'm growing soursop trees and why I'm urging you to grow them too. Now, I got my seeds off of eBay. And I looked at them recently. And I put some in my shopping cart. But I think that my seeds are still viable from 2017 because I keep my seeds in the freezer and the refrigerator. But just in case. I'm going to, I'm looking up soursop seeds again. You can get 10 seeds on eBay for $11.24 with free shipping. And somebody has seven of them for $6.75. And so on and so on and so on. And if you're patient... Got to have patience to grow soursop or any tree from a seed. I'm going to recommend that you do it. And now I'm going to tell you why. Because they're not just anti-cancer leaves. Okay, I'm just looking at email. It threw me off. But they also control parasites. For example, uh, history has shown that Mexico, the Caribbean, South America, Southeast Asia, and parts of Africa and Florida is where most people grow soursop trees. And they use the fruit and the pulp for drinks, dessert, and candy. But the most beneficial part of the soursop tree is the leaves. And these leaves, when you brew them into a tea, and if you didn't know, if you're watching the replay, or if you're new to my channel, I sell soursop tea, anti-cancer, lower cholesterol tea, on my website. If somebody would please put my website up a couple of times. So if somebody's watching the replay and they want to click on it, they don't have to go into the description box. So a lot of people that live in underdeveloped countries, and we don't have to name them, you all know where they are. 
suffer with a lot of parasites. And that comes from not clean water like we have in the States. And fresh air. So they get a lot of parasites. Now, when I was younger, uh, I know my mother used to give us cod liver oil. And she said, I'm going to clean you all out. Y'all going to be going to the bathroom a lot. But I got to do this once a year to make sure you don't get pinworms. Anybody remember that? And I remember my daughter, when she was three months old, I had to take her stool to the hospital every day because uh, she had diarrhea and nothing would stop it. And back in those days, you would get Pedialyte by a prescription. But now you can just buy Pedialyte. In fact, a lot of people that are anorexic uh, take the Pedialyte because they're starving. They have to get those positive and negative electrolytes in their body stable or their heart would mess up and go into heart failure. I don't know if you remember the singer Karen Carpenter. We've only just begun. That elevator music they used to hear in the, all the time. She was anorexic and her heart stopped. She died of heart failure. So now the point I'm trying to make is people are more um, educated how to have or live with a certain disease like anorexia and they know what to do and they don't have to get a prescription for the Pedialyte. But getting back to my topic of the pinworms, our parents used to give us cod liver oil. And then when there was the cold season, they would give us three sixes. I'm not sure if they still make that anymore. Three sixes and Vicks Vapor Rub. And they'll put you in flannel pajamas and rub it on your chest, rub it on your back and give you three sixes and tell you to go to bed. And that was their preventative measure for you getting a really bad cold or bronchitis or pneumonia. Anybody remember that? Let me go check my notes. Hey, uh, Jay Newly Natural, thank you for being here. Castor oil with a little peppermint. Yes, Debbie Epps. Hold your questions until the end of this segment. Miss Quinny says, sure do. And we didn't go to the doctor all the time. And we didn't get sick all the time. We had strong immune systems. Unlike a lot of children of today. They need cleaning out with those the pinworms, the parasites. So soursop tea will destroy parasites in your body. Mm-hmm. Especially in third world countries. So you brew the tea, let it steep for at least or simmer for 10 minutes, and then you strain it. Also, there have been studies that show that people who suffer with uh, weak immune systems, with colds, uh, respiratory ailments. Uh, it'll clear up the congestion and clear your airways. Do any of you all know what a neti pot is? That's when you clean out the mucus up in your sinuses because along with that mucus, it collects um, bacteria, pathogenic bacteria breeding up there and make you get a real bad infection. I've had one, so I know what it's like. So a lot of, lot of pathogens will live in the nasal cavity. So if you're one of those people that have a sinus infection for a very long time and it don't go away, I'm recommending that you drink soursop tea. There's another thing that I'm, a reason why I'm recommending soursop tea because studies show that it treats pain. Mm hmm Healers have used the leaves topically. They make a salve or a tincture, and they put it on the area, and it draws out the inflammation and relieves the pain. So if you know somebody who has gout, my oldest son and my husband, he got it from him, suffered from gout. And I wish I had known that the soursop tea could relieve some of that 
swelling and that pain. And also, it does help relieve stress and anxiety. Did you know that you can use a soursop tea as an astringent on your face to clear up blemishes and age spots to help you have healthy looking skin? What I'm going over, guys, is to give you all a reason to grow this tree. It's not a lot of maintenance. I've only given it a little compost, those trees, worm castings, and fermented comfrey tea. It's, it, it's a low maintenance tree. The only thing that you have to remember is you gotta prune it regularly or get it too large. And you have to make sure that it is not in an environment where the humidity is above 50 or the temperature is 40 degrees or lower. And that's why I finally just started bringing them in the house for the winter a couple of years ago. Okay? I used to try to suffer with trying to heal them in the greenhouse and it was just a, a, a dying cause, a lost cause. So I know now that humidity with further research taught me that it needs a lower humidity than what's offered sometimes in my greenhouse. Okay? So I have the tea it's on my website, but I'm encouraging you all to get a few seeds and just try growing it. It makes a wonderful house plant as long as you provide some light to it, uh, either in a southern facing window. Because I've seen some of your, your guys' videos where you have screen porches or sunrooms. I wish I had that. I don't. So I have to put mine under lights. It also has a lot of vitamin C to it. It also has a diuretic property where it will clean you out. Okay? And if your colon is uh, upset, and I'm just going to tell you, um, I had that issue uh, with an upset colon, uh, you know, and I, I've been drinking, sipping on that tea all day. And, I, and it's easing the pain away in my gut. I feel like I've lost a few pounds, as a matter of fact. But anyway, it has a lot of antioxidants that eat up free radicals in your body. And those free radicals, if your immune system gets down for one reason or another, or you stressed out, you can call your, cause yourself to get cancer and other diseases. That's when you become susceptible to diseases when your immune system goes down. But the more free radicals you have in your body, it'll attack your immune system. So the soursop tea, I highly recommend. And... Uh, I want to tell you now about the tree itself. It can grow up to 25, between 25 and 30 feet, and it can grow up to 8 to 10 inches wide. But you can control that by pruning it. And that's what I do to keep mine small. And the leaves are very shiny. Different from a lemon tree or a lime tree or a uh, grapefruit, pluot, uh, calamondin, these leaves are very shiny and these are the only ones that I remove to dehydrate to make the tea. If something is unhealthy on the tree, it went through used to being in the shade to going outside in full sun and the leaves get little spots on them or whatever, I let them fall and go into mulch, and I don't use that in my soursop teas that I make. Only the healthy leaves. And you can bonsai, I think I said that word right, and, and make the tree real funky. You know, you know, you've seen people put wire in it and change the, the, the trunk of the tree and allow it to be a showpiece. So I'm going to be starting more soursop tree seeds so that I can have more leaves as I'm growing in my business. I'm, I need more leaves. Okay, so now it will grow well outside in zones 9 through 11. If you live in a lower zone like me, I live in 8A, you can keep it, but you need to put it on your patio or bring it inside, okay? But it grows very well as a house plant. Okay, so that's my subject for today. Are there any questions? Put them in all caps. I can take them at this time. Somebody put down turpentine. My mother used that too. 
Mm-hmm. She sure did. And now the people are, the likes and the amount, likes I have and the amount of people watching are pretty close. So I appreciate you all hitting that like button. Thank you. And Andre Lucas says you can buy three sixes, 666 or online from Canada. Hey, Siobhan Jones, thank you for being here. Okay, are there any questions? It doesn't have to be about sour stops. It could be about anything. I'll answer to the best of my ability. Okay, Miss Quinny said, what is the lowest temp my greenhouse should get? That will be determined by what you have in there. If you have anything in there that would die at 32 degrees, it's kind of obvious that you want to make sure that you keep it uh, above that temperature, freezing temperature, but you don't want things to start going into shock. So I would recommend 40. Now, that's what I do every year. I try to keep my greenhouse in no cooler than 40 degrees. But this year, I'm doing something different. I'm trying to keep it above 50. And right now, it is 69 and 65 in the greenhouse. Can you see those? I'm, I'm going to try to keep it at 50. And I want you all to know, when I went back in my journal and I looked at the temperature this time last year and the temperature in the greenhouse this year, it was a little cooler. And I think because I put the greenhouse six mil plastic on the greenhouse a little earlier this year than I did it last year, that it's keeping it a little bit warmer. The tomato plants look awesome. I went in there and I watered everything today. Wasn't feeling good, but I knew I had to go take care of my babies. And the comfrey is growing very, very well in the greenhouse. Yankee sister, yes, I would take cuttings from your mulberries. Because I was watching a video, I can't think of who it is right now. And they were saying, oh, I know who it was, Dan's Permaculture Food Forest. And he said he pruned his mulberries to flush out new growth. And I had my mulberries three years, I never had any fruit on them. It was a wild mulberry tree. I pruned it down to five feet and it produced that spring. So I'm, I'm inclined to agree with Dan from Dan's Permaculture Food Forest. Um, mulberry is a tree that you can prune and it will promote vigorous growth. So yes, I will take cuttings from your mulberry. Now, I'm not taking any cuttings from my mulberry because I'm debating if I'm going to cut it down. The mulberries are good. They're very sweet, but they're real small. And I think it's just taking up too much real estate for the amount of real tiny little mar not even marble size, male mulberries that I'm getting. I may cut them, but before I do, I think I will, okay, thank you, Joyce. I think I will um, take some cuttings if somebody want have a lot of space and want that tree. But I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that tree because it is, I cut it down so low and it's just extended all over the privacy fence in my neighbor's yard. They're not complaining, but uh, yeah, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. And Dale says she's expecting some of my sour sop teeth any day. Can you please explain how it's packaged? Uh, yeah, I, I checked on Dale. Uh, and Dale, um, I checked on my orders. Sometimes in the tracking information is not, I don't know if it's your order or not. But the post office is running behind and it was a holiday. But I will just tell you very quickly that they are in a box like this and you get tea. this is the relaxation tea here and you get this package and you get 10 of them and the combined weight is three ounces uh i had 2.4 ounces on the website 
And my son came and weighed the packages. He said, no, mom, it's three ounces. He weighed this individually. And then he subtracted the weight from this. And then he multiplied it times the 10 after he weighed them all. Um, it's three ounces. And um, so you only take a teaspoon, not a heaping teaspoon, just a level teaspoon. And you put it into your... Um, you can put it into a decanter. I'm going to get up and show you real quick what I use most of the time. If I'm feeling festive. Like I said I was going to do a video on this, but I haven't gotten around to it. And I got this off of Amazon, and it'll be on my affiliate link as well. And then you just put your little tea right inside of here. And this is microwavable or stovetop usable. But I just put tea, water in my teapot and then I pour it in here and let it sit. And then I drink my tea. Okay? So, it, you know. Or you can, I'm going to show you one more thing. I'll be right back. I'm glad that I moved. Wait a minute, one more thing. This is a teapot that my daughter gave me. And you could put your tea in here, pour your hot water, and let it steep, and then and then you have your tea like so. so I'm going to break this stuff. <laughs> or if you're in a hurry and you only want to do a little tea, you could put your mason jar in the microwave. Put your tea in here. This is what I had earlier today. And then you just strain it through your mesh strainer. See that? And you collect everything into here. And one more way you can make the tea. They have these uh, Curet k pops on Amazon and other stores, Walmart. And you can just put your tea in that and brew it in your coffee maker. Or here's another cute one I bought off of Amazon. It's a little mesh Holder, you put your tea in here and then you just close it. I'm trying to get it so you can see it. You just close that up right there and then it hangs by the chain and you just clip it on the side of your cup or your mug and wait 10 minutes and take it out. Okay? So I have been drinking a lot of tea for years. I do turmeric tea because it helps with inflammation and arthritis. And I tell, share you all with you all this arm right here where I had the lip nose removed from cancer surgery. It's five inches bigger than this one. That's why I always wear loose stuff so you can't see it. You accentuate your good points and then you camouflage the bad ones. I shouldn't say bad ones. The ones that are not so good. <laughs> So that's why I always wear loose fitting clothes on my arm area. Okay? So, Andel, I hope I've had answered your question. I see Andel says she has that mesh tea holder. And G Mama Grove says she has it. Yes. And they're nice. It just depends on how much tea you make it. Now, when I do the sour stop, I like to make the whole kettle. Either one of these pots. And then I put it in the refrigerator. Because you can sip off of it for a week. And the blood sugar tea, the same way. You don't have to drink it all at one sitting. So but the point I really want to stress is you get about three teaspoons in each one of these little bags. So it's, you know, 
You might see 10 bags in a box. It's not 10 servings. It's more like 30 or 35, depending on how much you use. And only you will determine, just like butter that you put on your toast, you'll know how much you like. So after you try for a couple of times, you'll know. Now, this is the deal with the, uh, oh, somebody said they had the lemongrass tea last night. It was relaxing. Very good. Now, this is what I want to share with you. I'm getting ready to publish this to my website. This is my special for today, the midnight only special. I'm looking for my website. Oh, okay. I'm getting ready to edit it right now. Until midnight tonight, if you order any special, two of the same special, you will get one of the same special free. How about that? And the prices include shipping. So I'm going to help you with your Christmas shopping, and you will help my small business. If you order any special, two of the same special you will get three of the same special and i didn't publish it yet so i'm doing it right now internet moving slow okay it's moving now Click edit. So there are a lot of different specials. There's a candle special. There's a honey special. There is um, love your hair special. There is uh, love your hair and skin, something like that. Okay, I'm trying to get the specials. I apologize, guys. It's, the internet is going slow for some reason. Special and gift sets. Okay, here we go. So I'm just going to say, in all caps, buy any two of the same specials special and get one free so that is the special of the day and let me take out delete that coupon that paypal code okay y'all acting stupid the internet is acting crazy today buy any two of the same special and get one free. And now I'm getting ready to publish it and it's on. So it'll say two in your shopping cart, but rest assured if you order before midnight tonight, you will get three of them. Now I'm going to my website and I'm going to go to refresh and I'm going to go to specials and let's see what's on there. Buy any two of the same special and get one free. I need to put a space between free and one, but that's okay. Okay, do we have any questions? And get one free. Backspace, publish. Okay, I'm going back to my news feed. And let's see if we have any special. Thanks, Barb, for putting it up. Buy two same specials, get one free, including the shipping. That's right. Hey, Rhonda, nice to see you. I don't know when you came in, but I see people are speaking to you. 
And I just know that we have a lot of in common. I see her on uh, Instagram. Yeah, that's Rhonda Moffitt. She, I know she's a hairstylist. I think you recently become a, became a cosmetology instructor. So we have that same background and a passion for gardening as well. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Best Yet, for welcoming everyone. Please order by midnight tonight. I stay up late every Monday night. And Mama Zeke, it's $25 for the elderberry. That includes your shipping. And you're going to get a nice size tree. I'm not going to send them to you until I know that they will survive on, on their own. I use good quality soil. I don't use chemicals. You're going to get a good tree. And, you, and it will come in your dome. Okay. Yes, we do love. And she got her scissors in the comb and her heart. Thank you, Rhonda, for being here. I love seeing you because um, it's kind of nostalgic when I see you doing hair and different stuff, um, techniques on um, Instagram because it reminds me of myself. And I think once you're a teacher in any subject, you just learn something more and you, you know, I'm still teaching. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, I don't see the honey special. Okay, let's go back to the website. It was on there. Let's go to honeys. Did I take it off? Should be at the bottom of the page. There it is. Organic Honey Trio. Three four-ounce individual jars of hibiscus, ginger, and turmeric. You buy two, you get one free. Did you see that? It's at the bottom. Oh, you're welcome, Rhonda. It gives me a purpose in life. It's my ministry. I love what I do. Thank you, Growing With Hustle, putting the cash app up for anybody that wants that elderberry tree. Y'all know, I just started selling stuff this year. Everything that I gave away, seasons, what have you, um, I always did it, you know, just out of my pocket. But stuff that's gone up, I can't do it anymore. Miss Cheryl, will you be putting the containers? You speaking of these, bougie pepper? Yes. Give me another day or two, and I'm going to have everything that I use that I've shared with you in my Monday night chats. I'll have everything. It's going to be make my description box real long, but I'm going to put a link to everything. And at home with Cherie, put the honey link up. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Anything that I have used in my business, in my uh, garden, uh, anything that I use in my home. I was uh, getting ready to come on tonight and I thought about it. I'm going to share my uh, wood chipper. I mean, just all the little tools and things that, that I bought off of uh, Amazon. I'm going to share everything with you. Um, from my juice steamer that I get my, uh, you know what I'm trying to say, my uh, elderberry juice, how I extract it uh, for my muscadines. And you remember earlier I was telling you all about love notes? And I, I'm blank because she doesn't have a channel, but she offers very good information. Love notes is the person to talk, tell me that I got too much moisture to grow those grapes. I tried Thompson green grapes. I tried Concord purple grapes. Uh, I'm gonna have the landscaper dig the roots up. It got black rot. It's just too much moisture that we get at certain times of the year. So I ordered three grape vines like the same ones that I have that was on that same row where the Concord grapes were. It did not get the black rot. So, I know that the noble muscadines that I got from Ison Brothers, I only had two of them, didn't get the black rock. They're not susceptible to it. So I bought three more noble muscadines. So I'm 
at the point in my life where I'm just growing stuff that I know that works well. See, I tried a lot of stuff, guys. I grew, can't even think of the name of it, but it's tree collards. The purple ones and the green ones. The purple ones are supposed to be a cross between kale and collard. I didn't like it. I didn't like the taste. I like the Southern Georgia collards, and it's another one. I think it's called Vape. I like the way they taste. So I pulled them up. I gave some of the cuttings away. I tried longevity spinach, Egyptian spinach, Malabar spinach. I don't like it. I like regular spinach better. So I can go on and on and on naming the different things that I try. I'm going to name one more. Ground cherries. I didn't like them. My grandkids didn't like them. Jujus. I didn't like them. My grandkids didn't like them. So I'm just growing what I like that grows very well in my area. And that's what I'm going to recommend to you. It's good to experiment and try some different things. But after a while, when you've been growing as long as I've been growing, 30 years in this one spot, 40 years collectively gardening, and it's just me. I know what I like. And I don't believe in hoarding. So I'm giving greens away this season. I'm not canning any because I have too much. I'm still eating the greens from 2019. And I got greens from 2020 and 2021. So why do I need a can anymore? So I'm going to let people have them. Okay. Let me see if there are any questions. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for your support. They have the mesh ball. The special... containers. I'm telling you all, sometimes the feed go by so fast and I will watch it and listen and look at the, the live feed and I will try to answer your question. Okay, Deb M, can soursop plant trees be grown from a cutting? I don't know. I don't know. And that is something I'm glad you asked about that because that is something that I'm going to write that down right now. That is something I'm going to research because I keep pruning that tree. So even if the answer is no, I'm going to attempt it. Okay. Now we'll tell you that these are just stuck in water, the elderberries. But the fig tree, I made a circle around the bottom and I cut the Camden layer off. I think that's how you pronounce that word. I cut that off and put that into water. Or when I did the air layering on the tree. But I'm going to do some experiments with the soursop. But they grow so beautifully from a seed. I mean, you know, they grow real fast. So what I was doing, soursop... Uh, Rooted, root cutting. Rooted cutting. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I got my little note, my little sticky note, put it over here, and I'm gonna try it, and I'll let you know. And I'll do some research. V Solo said, hey V, how you doing? Thank you for reminding me that I can make tea from my soursop tree started two years ago. Yes, they grow so fast. I was waiting around the, for the fruit only. No ma'am, oh I'm so glad. If I just reach one person tonight, that I have fulfilled my assignment from God. <laughs> if I just reach one person tonight. Hey, Janet Chisholm slash Richards. Thank you. I hope you'll be able to watch the rest of the replay because we're getting ready to end this video. I think I covered everything I wanted to cover. I don't think there are any more questions. Remember to share my video in your social media groups. I'm not asking that you send me subscribers. I think my channel will and content will stand on its own. You'll be surprised at how many people are watching my old videos. I mean, like, and they'll comment on it, so I know I know it, and I get the analytics. Uh, 
It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. So if you would share my videos, that's all I ask. The subscribers list will grow if people like the content. Okay? All right. You all have a wonderful evening. Somebody's telling me that to have a great evening. I love all of you all. Good night, Janet Chisholm. Good night, Yankee sister. Good night, Ann Dale. Good night, Susie Polador. Good night, Joyce Moore. Good night, Robbie Allen Duncan. Good night, Lynette Tucker. Good night, Growing With Hudson and everybody else that I missed. I love you and God loves you too. Don't forget, I always close with grow your own, eat your own, make your own. Don't run around buying all these canned goods with all these salt and preservative in it. Because contrary to popular belief, you can't rinse all that salt out. And if you got high blood pressure or you have kidney disease and you're not supposed to have artificial ingredients and a lot of salt, don't do it. Grow you some food and can it. Okay? All right. I love you guys. <laughs> Bye now.